Yeah. yeah. This project here is with Patrick, um, and he's uh, doing. He's going to be showing us how to do uh, uh, boot up a, um, a USB device and no. installed an operating system on it. Okay, the first step is with a laptop or a desktop, you download U-N-E-T Booten. Okay. U-N-E-T-B-O-O-T-I-N. And you can get it at sourceforge.net. Thank you, Patrick. Just a minute, the thing is, welcome and welcome. Okay. Now, if I go to my downloads, that's a place in the Greek islands. That's my background. Okay. Okay, downloads. Open the downloads. And I got all these torrents. Okay. Let's alternate software. Okay. Yeah, alternate. <laughs> Unit booting. Uh, Linux 64 647. Uh oh, and uh, if I wanted to do 32 bit, I would need UNET booting Linux 32 dash some number. Now, this is a number 647, this is a number 661, and they're dot binaries, which means that they're already done, you're just going to run it, and you're going to tell your system that you trust it. So did you download these as binaries? Yeah, they were downloaded as binaries. Okay. From sourceforge.net. Okay. Then um, it requests that if you want updates, you sign up and leave your, you know, email, and so it can update you from time to time. Gotcha. I have number six four seven, and later I got number six six one. So there's been several updates. developments of it. Up I got gotcha. you. Now my. Since they're both 64, I can only do a 64-bit bootable uh, USB gotcha. today. And then I've got Linux Mint 19 Mate in 64-bit and in 32-bit. But if the CPU, I don't know if it will, if a USB stick booted with this 64-bit system, one of these. Okay. Can you run a 32-bit? I don't know. But we'll find out. All right. So that's the limit of my knowledge. Now I need an expert to. That's what you're in here for. Step over and say, Oh, you click here. Whatever. So we'll just wait for them. You can turn the camera oh. down for. All right. We get over here. All right. Well, come with us next time. Jack. When we I'm look at uh, this project. Come pull up a chair. Unet Booten. Unet Booten. I'm not Booten. <laughs> he wants to know if you know how to install it from the binary. I downloaded it last night. I want to download it. I've got Linux Mint 19.1 Mate 64 and Mate 32. I haven't done it yet. Okay. So how do well, I do it? Well, that's all the problem. Huh? <laughs> no, I don't know. These so are three brand new USBs. They were fifteen dollars and ninety-eight cents plus tax for all three. Mm -hmm. That's thirty-two gigabytes. They're big. That's big. Okay. So I'll plug it in, right? Is that what I do? Yeah. A little coordination. Now, do you all you don't have net booting installed yet, right? Well, it's a binary there. Yeah, but you still have to go through the proper. I do. What do I do? In like four easy steps. I do know that you can download net booting through the repositories. Well, I did download it straight from sourceworks.net. No, no, I'm saying from the oh, Linux repositories. I couldn't find it. You could? I put UNET, boot, UNET Booten. Yeah. And search, and it came up, can I find it? Hmm. So the Linux guys talk about it in the forum for Linux Mint, but they don't really link to it. They don't show you how to do it. So, 
Jack Horner is over there looking it up. Are you looking it up, Jack? Yep. He's looking it up. I have the software downloaded right here. The binary. And I have the ISO to make. Then you need the application actually to produce this image. What's the application? I'm looking at that. So Jack's looking up. So All right. Okay. Alright, folks. We'll be back. Are you hardcore?